Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at some CMU 1.13.0 news that we have just been given by the CMU development team. One of the main features of this new CMU release is something that I myself and I can imagine a lot of people out in the CMU community have been looking forward to, the brand new texture cache rework. The reason I am so excited about this new function and feature is that it is literally going to fix dozens upon dozens of graphical related bugs. This new rework is also supposed to fix texture corruptions, it is also going to fix VRAM leaks that we have seen in games like Mario Kart 8, Breath of the Wild, Bayonetta 2 and practically any game that you play on CMU emulator for a prolonged period of time. We have also been told that we can expect to see slightly boosted performance once we have this texture cache rework in place. Now not only is this texture cache rework going to give us better performance, plug the VRAM leak and also help to stop texture corruption, but it is also going to be laying the foundations for the inclusion of the Vulkan API in CMU emulator itself. Apparently, the previous texture cache version was not compatible with Vulkan API due to the fact that it was specifically designed for OpenGL and apparently was not very adaptable at all. Hopefully in the coming weeks and months we will be getting further information about this Vulkan API implementation for CMU. That's not all however, in the next CMU release we are going to be seeing official homebrew support. Now unfortunately, in this CMU release at least, we are not going to be able to run applications like NAND Dumper, FTP UI Everywhere or the Homebrew Launcher itself in CMU, but it does mean that we will be getting access to literally thousands of awesome homebrew games made by users. Staying on the topic of homebrew applications and games, the CMU development team have also developed a CPU benchmarking tool which will enable CMU users to benchmark their actual CPUs in their PCs versus the CPU in the Wii U console itself. The introduction of this application should allow any CMU user to see if their CPU is powerful enough to run any Wii U games on this emulator itself. So that's about it for this small update video on CMU 1.13.0 and its newest features. Hopefully in the coming days we will get more information about this texture cache rewrite and hopefully in the coming weeks and months new information about Vulkan API. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.